So it's an easy answer for that one is that everything was entirely new. <laughs> um, I would come in and I would, I would be sitting on this drum here, uh, tapping along, that was one thing. So I would be sitting on this and then another thing I did was play one of these at different times. So the whole thing was new because uh, if you play the drum you're kind of playing it all at one time and then for this one I would sometimes play part of the drum beat to one track and have these headphones on. It's another new experience. You're sitting here drumming with headphones on listening to the song and so you're going along and then suddenly there's a voice and you're like oh so you try again to keep the beat going all the way through instruments and, and voices together. So you do a track and then uh, then you get the shaker and you listen to the drum beat you just did and then you do this part. So the whole thing was really new. Um, you're trying to sing, come up with a harmony part on the spot. Yeah, that's that's not a, a <laughs> easy thing to do. You know, you, when you're singing you feel like you're going to mess up and um, the people who came and, and sang on this song, um, you know, they were willing to, to try it several times and mess up a lot until they found something that, that worked. And, uh, you know, I'm uh, speaking, I, I played electric guitar on the track and, you know, I sat there and messed up several times trying to get the solo just the way I had it in my head. And, uh, you know, it, it takes a degree of um, being willing to mess up in order to, to come at the end, uh, come up with a, a greater, greater whole. Uh, participation for me in this project was uh, kind of surreal. Um, and also uh, just incredibly fun. Uh, I, uh, I never thought I would be able to feel so comfortable uh, doing some of the things that I was trying to do because I didn't really know how to do most of the things that I did um, until maybe right before I kind of tried to do them. Uh, I was playing the bass on the project and uh, my bass playing is um, maybe all within the last year and so I, in addition to clearly still trying to learn how to play the instrument um, I was also um, asked by Kevin to basically just have free reign and make up bass parts. So th this was different than projects I'd done before so I, you know with, with recording I've got a little bit of background but, but you know not, not a whole lot with Pro Tools, so this, this was a new program that I was trying to learn as we were doing this project. Um, before I'd, I'd recorded on a, a, eight, a little eight track um, that, that did, you know it, it, it could record several, eight, you know up to eight tracks, but it didn't have a, a whole lot of versatility in terms of uh, you know doing volume without moving the faders as you're you're trying to do the bounce track. So. It, <laughs> This, the, there's a lot more flexibility in, in what we're doing here. There were a lot of people playing and singing on this record that are not experts and, and several people who had never recorded anything before. So um, to, to be part of that from a, from a novice at least standpoint and to have the recording engineer uh, treat you as if, first of all, you knew what you were doing and then also kind of massage you gently in the direction of doing it right because he did know how to do it right uh, from his experience was was priceless there were times when I actually felt like an expert even though of course in my brain I knew I was not an expert I did a lot of recording on my own but um, to have people come in who actually know how to do these things is just truly amazing to, to hear it's um, it's um, it's a wonderful experience.